Hey, what's up guys? Huli here back with Profound Image Consulting. Hope you guys are doing well. As I mentioned in my previous video, in today's video, we're talking about tips and tricks that you can start using today to help you improve your confidence. If that sounds interesting to you, let's hop into it guys. you guys know of today that's going to help you improve your overall confidence is by speaking your affirmations aloud. Now this might seem silly to some and others are already doing it which is great but you want to basically plan out your days beforehand. Before your actual day starts you want to manifest your words into actual existence. Something like I have or I will gain the knowledge to succeed in life is a great affirmation to use, for example. Saying something like this will lead your subconscious mind to believe and think that this certain thing needs to get done. Affirmations are a vital boost to your overall confidence. Not only that, but it's also the piece of the puzzle to improve your self-esteem as well. All right, the second tip that I'm gonna go over today to help you improve your self-confidence is to dress better. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job today if I didn't talk about style in this video or in any of my videos for that matter. And we've all pretty much heard the phrase to dress for success, right? The thing is, some will argue that gaining success or having success in your life due to materialistic health comes out a bit shallow. But the thing is, the way we feel about ourselves is a direct link to our appearance. And our clothing has to do with the way we look. And how we look affects our confidence level. So there you go. If your appearance is going to emotionally affect your state of mind, then you will want to have a positive outlook of yourself. Some tricks that I personally use myself and you should be using as well when it comes to the dress better approach would be to wear clothes that actually are properly fit, uh, dressing for the right occasion, and also dressing for the season that you're currently in. Now, I won't get into complete detail of how you can do this, but that's why you can subscribe down below to hear my input in future videos. Now, the third tip that I got for you guys that's gonna help you improve your confidence is to fix your posture. Now, don't get me wrong, we all have bad days, we all have the worst days where we just wanna let it all out, we wanna cry, and that's okay, but there is a time and a place for that. At the end of the day, we wanna make sure that we stand tall. And look, the reality is that life goes on, right? And so something that I personally do, a trick that I use, and you should be using as well, is whenever I'm walking around, or really wherever you're at, you can do this, uh, pretend that there is a string at the top of your head and it's pulling you straight up. This is gonna help lengthen your spine and it's gonna create a better image of yourself. Um, another thing that I would do as well, if you're out in public while doing this, even throw on a smile, it's gonna really make you feel better. It's gonna help improve your self-confidence and others will take notice as well. Now, another quick tip that I personally use myself in order to help me improve my confidence in public or when I'm speaking with someone brand new, is every time I have a conversation with anyone brand new, I pretend as though I know that person or have known that person forever. By doing this subconsciously, you speak to them as if they are your existing friend, therefore putting you more at ease and speaking with confidence. Okay, and that was just a quick tip, but the fifth tip that I got for you that's gonna help you guys improve your overall confidence drastically is to make a plan. Now, I do not mean to plan out the rest of your life because realistically, that probably won't go the way you want it to. Um, but what I mean is to plan out or set a goal that you can achieve within the next two to five years. Now, it doesn't have to be long term. You can even plan out short term uh, goals as well. And guys, I'm sure it's not hard for you to see why not having a plan and not having any goals can affect your confidence in a negative way. What happens is when you have nothing to achieve in life, you basically stay stagnant. And when you're stagnant, you never grow. This is unattractive, it's a confidence killer, and it's just gonna lead you down the rabbit hole. Now, something that you can do to fix this if you haven't planned something already or you really don't have any goals to achieve or you haven't set out any goals to achieve is by doing just that. So what you wanna do is grab a piece of paper, a journal, a notebook, whatever you have lying around. You can even go buy one if you don't have one, but you're gonna to wanna to write down a plan, a plan within the next three months, I would say that you can achieve. 
It can be as simple as reading a book, uh, losing 10 pounds, even starting a business. You want it to be simple, but also challenging as well. And making a plan like this is not only gonna give you the feeling of satisfaction once you complete that goal that you set out to accomplish, but it's also gonna improve your self-esteem as well. All right, now the last tip that I got for you guys is gonna help you improve your overall confidence over the course of time is by taking care of yourself. Yes, I said taking care of yourself, meaning taking care of your health, taking care of your body, taking care of your mind. No man is going to gain confidence when they're unhealthy and they're just lousy all the time. This reeks of failure and that's not who you are. Self-care is so important, guys, and I cannot talk about it enough. If you haven't already, make sure that you develop a healthy eating routine, especially in these times when having a strong immune system is super important. And while you're at it, make sure that you also develop a good personal hygiene routine and even develop a healthy hobby as well that's gonna make you happy. All right, and lastly, I do wanna touch up on this because it does affect your confidence. If you're someone that's actually currently in a toxic environment, please make sure that you're making a plan to find a way out. It's not healthy and it's not good for you. You have self-value and that is a critical stimulant to your confidence and overall growth. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. If you did, it really helps me and the channel out if you hit the thumbs up button down below. Also, I'm gonna be putting out more content, so if you would like, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Comment down below on anything else you would like me to talk about. And then lastly, in the description, I do offer some online virtual services uh, regarding style and image if you're needing help. But as always, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.